Uh, no diamond that time. So you said you wanted the, the entire fence replaced over here? Uh, yeah. Just in case? Mm-hmm. I mean, the lava doesn't seem to be burning the fence yet, but it did burn it when I set up the first cobble gen, so... Let's see... You are still good for more hits, so... Let's go ahead and... More gravel! I do this just so I can actually watch you guys work while I do this. <laughs> Makes it a bit more interesting for the stream. Huh. Hey Trip, uh, I can't tell if there's any light over there, but I can't get back there to put a torch. Can you, uh, do you have a pick on you by chance? Let's jump oh, up hey, here and jump on top. Yep. There you go. Thank you. You know, thinking about it, if I had made that uh, one higher, then we could actually just walk up next to the bucket. This is true. Hindsight. But to be fair, not impossible to fix either, so. Yeah. As long as you bucket the water out first. Yeah. I might do that next. Mod, mod, mod. Wait, wait. <laughs> He's throwing what? pickaxe uh, at you. watching Futurama, so in the background I just hear, damn you Obamacare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, still no more diamonds, so we have the wand. Well, get good. That's okay, at least my, my stream can watch uh, mod building a stone wall. I mean, frankly, that's all I'm doing, too. Huh. How's the grout coming? Shoot. There's six left, assuming that this is the last stack. Yep, that's the last stack. Oh, make sure you check off uh, the 25 blocks away grass field. Yep, I did. I and then we made obsidian, right? Yep. Yep. And did we do the tinkerer's construct? Is that what that smeltery thing is over there? Yes, that yeah. is what we're working on. Right yep. Are we upgrading an existing tinker tool with metal parts? We will do that as soon as we uh, get the smeltery so we can get a metal part. Perfect. All right, so I need to go up here real quick. I'm going to... Okay, got the water. Oh, I need uh, stone. I need, uh, what, six? Yeah. Where is the... Here it is. Oh, I get cobblestone for breaking stone. 
Yes, oh. that is that is how that works. Okay, I need to be careful of the crucible there, then, don't I? Oh, hey, does this cobblestone generator feed into the pipe as well as the other thing that eventually when we get power, it'll do double? Yes. Oh, that's oh. sweet. I but no matter you what, you'll have something working, but if you ever don't have power, then you're okay. Right. Okay, that was fine. Do I need to use a pickaxe to pick up the bucket or not? Um, you'll want to. Stone. If given the choice between using a tool or not, you almost always want to use the tool. Alright. Okay. Your wall is replaced. Great. Now it will hopefully not catch on fire. Or if it does, then it won't spread. Alright, so now I need some more stone. Are these blocks? Working on or it. what blocks? Are they going to be something? Working on it. Yeah, well, that but is... I mean, like, can I change the, the look of it, or are they going to turn into something? Oh, you can change the look of those. I'm not quite done yet, though. You've created a monster. Well, I need to... There we go. Trip cackles away. He's like, <laughs> yes. Oh. All right, and... Just wait until I tell him about chisels and bits when we have enough wool to get the bit bag. We'll never see Seth again. It's like, later, guys. But you need wool for that, because you need a, a bit bag. Okay, it's done. Okay, now you can change Rav's little construct. Speaking of constructs, why don't you go get those seared bricks, Rav? Yep, on it next. Okay, so how do we get iron from the... Is that orbits is All that right. lava on top of lava like yeah. a lava thing on top of lava yep that's like the crucible we had for the uh over the torch oh, got right? it but instead of the torch you used a bucket of lava yep which is why it Does says the lava rate? get hotter yeah ah, See if you look at this three. Rate? yeah three times yep so is there like you know bit of sun that you can put under there for like 17 million times um there's there's like fire water and in a previous version, you could put a nuclear bomb under it, but uh, I don't think that's in this one. <laughs> All right, I have right, the so... two stacks of bricks. Okay, go to a crafting area. Crafting area. Table or tinker? It doesn't matter. Something that gives you a, a three by three crafting bin. All right, got it. Okay, I want you to make a smeltery controller. All right, so we'll go here. Oh my god, I can chisel the wood, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smeltery controller. Make sure you only make one. All right, one smeltery controller. Got it. Okay. Tank. I want you to make a seared tank. Seared tank. You may need to grab a piece of glass. A seared... glass all right got it okay i want you to make a smeltery drain all right smeltery drain got it okay i want you to make two faucets faucets not the deco craft ones, but the Tinker's Construct one. The which one? The Tinker's Construct faucet. I think I spelled faucet wrong. But that one was focused. Uh, spelling. F A U C E T. There we go. So the which one? The Tinker's Construct faucet. It should be on the far right. Oh, okay, yeah. Looks like a little U. So two. I of want those. two of those. I'm bad at spelling. All right, you know. got it. 
Okay. I want a casting table. Okay. Casting table. And a casting basin. Casting basin. Okay. So let's okay. see. Brain of the smeltery, heart of the smeltery, retains liquid when broken, fluid in, drains fluids from smelters, casting table, cast items using molten metals, and basin, cast items and using molten metals from the smeltery. All right. That's right. And I want you to change the rest of your seared brick into seared bricks. All right. So. The, the block? Yes. Should say part of the smeltery safe for decoration? Yes. All right. That should be that one. What I could do is that. Also, Seth, feel free to go down to the basement if you want to get parts of the floor that you missed. So all of them into seared bricks. Yes. I am left with two of the other ones. Uh, just ignore it for now then. All right. Those two. Okay. Okay, come over here with that stuff. Uh, let me put this one that dropped in my inventory away real quick. There we go. All right. Okay, now I want you to put down a three by three square of the stone, the seared bricks starting here to here. Okay, three by three, so like uh, where they're, those are the quarters? Yes. So I'm going to have to remove those? Yeah, I'm All just right. using them as markers. So, like so. Like that. That's right, and that's the base of our smeltery now, so we're going to melt metals in here. All right. Now, the reason it's a space away is because we need to have... On top of these, all right. I want you to put the uh, the um, seared tank right here. All right. Seared tank right on top of this cobblestone that you're standing. On. Okay, in the corner. Yeah. Make sure I got the right one. It's seared tank right there. Okay. I want you to put the uh, smeltery controller right here where I'm standing. Smeltery controller in the middle. That's right. And then the drain over here. This is how we're going to interact with this. All right. Drain right here. That's right. All right. And we don't need these. Uh, I don't have a pickaxe, but I was going to break. Uh, there's some in the quarter chest. Uh, so basically, you want these this row of three on the other three sides only with seared bricks. Okay. We don't need the corner corner. So... Wait, what? <laughs> the same Sorry. way that you have the uh, the three input-output things, uh -huh. how it's one block away, you want to have seared bricks. Okay, so like all along the edge? Yep, but you don't need the corners. Okay, on top of the current seared bricks? No. No. One space out, just like the, uh, the drain controller in. Oh, okay. So just uh, extend it that one, but not the corners. So like where yes. I'm standing... Yeah, right above where you're standing. Above where I'm standing. Okay, so I'll yeah, need see other, how other material to put them up a block then. Uh, okay. Sadness is when the chisel breaks. Like that. Yep, you got it. All right. Notice that the controller is now burning, which means we have a valid smeltery. All right, good. Now, how many bricks do you have left? I have three. Three? Okay, that's not enough to go even higher. So, this is what we'll use for now. It's what we have. All right. And, uh, so Ooh. you have the two faucets, right? Uh-huh. Put one on this circle and one on this circle. Okay, the two circles of the, the drain? Uh-huh. 
Got it. All right. And under, say, this one, put the basin. And under this one, put the table. Okay, basin in the, the corner. Like that. Uh-huh. Table be right here. Yeah. Yep. Now, this uh, is fueled by lava, which is why I brought the lava gin over here. All right. Get out of that. Get in there. Lava gen? That actually generates lava? Well, you put a uh, cobblestone in and it turns into, into lava. Oh, got it. Heats up, turns into lava. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, you can check off in the book that we've built a tinker smeltery. All right. Let's go do that. Tinker smeltery for, for processing ore. Now upgrade existing tinker's tool with metal part. Okay. So what we'll need to do is... Uh, make metal parts all right just a second so i can find out which uh materials <laughs> you can make with i'll put the extra seared bricks and stuff in the chest yeah we can use those later gold brass aluminum brass can we make brass in this pack and zinc cool do i need to make that uh, animal farm bigger or is a nine by nine fine nine by nine is probably fine do we still need this torch here in the center? Does this lava put enough light out? Um, you could break it and see. Looks like we're good. All right. No monster gen. Okay, now the neat thing about the smeltery is not only does it double ores, but you can also use it to create alloys. Oh, okay. And what we need is brass to make casts so we can make items out of this. Okay, and we should have... Or no, we don't... Nope, nope. Let's see how to make there brass. If you, uh... Uh, it is two parts copper and one part zinc makes brass. Do we have zinc? Hmm. We don't have... No monsters respond. Do we have aluminum? Because we can make aluminum brass instead. Yeah. Okay, yes, we do have aluminum. Okay, so aluminum brass, which we'll do instead, is three parts aluminum to one part copper. All right. So you'll need to grab... The copper uh, ore pieces? Yep. You'll need four of them to make one copper ore. So four, grab four copper ore pieces and 12 aluminum pieces. All right, so 12 aluminum. Oh, we have 12. Oh, yeah, we do. I just grabbed all of them. 12 aluminum and four copper, you said? That's right. Because yeah. you can craft four pieces of each into one smeltable piece. All right, so now go to the crafting table to put them together, or? or you can do it in your inventory, too. It's a two-by-two oh, yeah. two thing. Well, let's just actually look at the recipe, then. Aluminum brass ingot. Well, you're not making no. aluminum brass yet. You're making aluminum and copper. Oh, okay. Because you can't alloy things. In right, right. <laughs> Copper or chug. I don't think that's right. No, that's right. Okay, that is right. Go Copper or chug. Got it. And then, so I guess that's uh, two uh, aluminum chunks. You should have three aluminum chunk. Oh, yeah, three. Got it. All right, once you've got the chunks, come on over here. All right. This is cool. I think you'll like it. All right. All so, right, right-click on the controller. Controller. All right. All right, stick everything in that smeltery's inventory. Just all of it. Got it. Yep. You see it's making molten aluminum? Oh, yeah. In fact, if you jump up on one of these, you can see inside. Don't cool. jump inside or you'll take damage. Oh, yeah. Cool. And once the copper gets smelted, which takes a little bit longer. Yeah, I noticed that. So right now we have molten aluminum in there. That's right. Oh, it went yellow. Yep. And if you look in the controller, you'll notice that it's alloying them together into yeah. aluminum brass. Oh, neat. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. The molten aluminum brass is floating to the top. That's right. That is pretty awesome. 
And now we've got molten aluminum brass, which is used to make casts. Okay. So what we'll need to do is grab one of those seared bricks that you had left over. Uh, I'll grab one of those. Because Miss... first we want to make an ingot cast so we can get ingots out of it. Did we want the, the, the ingot-like brick or the brick brick? The ingot-like one. All right. Got that. And then... <laughs> Hi. <You're cat> <laughs> Thank you. All right, so come on over here. Hey. Somebody keeps on throwing uh, tree bits <laughs> in my inventory. All right. Tree bits. All right, so hold the uh, seared brick in your hand. All right. Like so. And right click on the casting table. Like that. Now you've got a casting table with a brick in it. Yay. Right click on the faucet above it. All right. Ooh. Take that out. That's well animated, actually. Now we have a count. We have a. A cast for ingots. So if we want to make anything into ingots that we have melting, we uh -huh. can just do the same thing with this. But we don't want that right now because aluminum brass is just for cast. All right, so take it. Right click on the table and you'll take it. All right. Now, let us improve that pickaxe that I guess I have. So okay. Come back with me. All right. I will teach you how to make new casts. New casts. Go to the part builder. Part builder. And we'll. I'll, I'll just show you since I've got some stone, but okay, I think pick I'll... the part we want, All and right. we make a stone version. All Go right. ahead and grab that pickaxe head out of there. Got it. All right. Now, you remember how you made the cast for the ingot, right? Yeah. Repeat the process. Only now you've got a stone pickaxe head. There you go. Now we can make pickaxe heads. Awesome. Out of whatever material we smelt. Yep. So grab uh, four little chunks of iron, which will make the one smeltable piece. All right. Four little chunks of iron. One, two, three, four. All right. Got an iron ore chunk. Bring the chunk over here. And you'll want to smelt it. Since it doesn't alloy with aluminum brass, it won't mix. All right, so in here, put it in, it'll do its thing. So I guess the, the aluminum will just stay at the where it is. That's right. All right. So it is smelting. And you can always check, by the way, if it'll alloy by hovering over the uh, liquid that's in there and hitting U for uses. U for uses. Oh, OK. And you'll notice at the top, there's nothing that says alloying, so it can't alloy with anything. Oh, okay. You always want to make sure of that if you're if you're smelting multiple metals, because they will mix if they can. Yep. Right, also, so... you'll notice that we've got one piece of iron in there, but it's going to become two ingots. Okay. So that's why I wanted to hold on to all of our ores until we got this. Okay. okay. Now you'll see we've got the two ingots, but it's on top. Oh, yep. Click on the uh, iron. Click on the iron. Okay, now it's on the now bottom. Now it's on the bottom, which means it'll be used first. Oh, okay. Stick the pickaxe cast in here. Pickaxe cast in there, and then the, click the faucet. And then pour the metal in. Watching it cool. It's actually pretty awesome. Boom. Pickaxe head. Pickaxe head. And get the cast back. Now here's our old pickaxe. All right. Bring that over here. And take it to the tool station. The tool station. There it is. All right. So I'll go All ahead right. and put the pick in the middle. That's right. All right. And then stick the pickaxe head in one of the slots around it. Okay. And it becomes an iron pickaxe. Boom. That's how you upgrade tools. Awesome. You can also make new tools the same way using the uh, the casts. All right. And so I guess we should probably have a chest near the smelter so we can store the casts and whatnot. Yep, that is a great idea. So let's go and get... Uh, we don't have any... I have to grab some wood out of here. So these Tinker Constructs pickaxe are the ones that are better because when they break, you just like put materials and they re like remake. That's right. Instead of breaking like vanilla. That's right. 
Also, you can enchant these without using experience points or an enchanting table. Huh. What's a verdant sprig? Is that a tree? Uh... Verdant sprig roots. You know, I don't know. So I went to and put the, uh, the the brick that I had in there, the, the seared brick in the chest, as well as the two, uh, well, the two things. I dig it. Yep. All right. So we have now upgraded tools for our smelter. That's right. Check. So now the only thing left in Stone Age is the kill mobs automatically and enchant the sieve. Which That's we right. Diamond for that, and we need to figure out what's wrong with our monster generator. I'm one? making another pickaxe because uh, having pickaxes would be good. Yeah, I have a, a wood one and the one we just did in the tool chest. Basically, at this point, we just have to burn out the wooden ones, since we don't need them anymore. Yep, yep. Why do I have leaves in my inventory again? Just throw them at me. I put them in the chest already. Alright, so. I'm going to check how our farm's doing, see if we have anything else now. Oops, I'm going to chicken. make us a bunch of useful casts. Since you guys know how to do it, I will go ahead and just do it myself. Alright. You know, I just want to make sure that you guys know how to do things before I do them. Yeah. Okay, so monster is still not happening, but I guess it has to be night with our current setup. Yes. So I guess I should make more diamonds. Yep, diamonds are our best friends. Ooh, I have an idea. Uh, I could actually use a really good hammerhead. Well, the Tinker's Construct hammers aren't the same thing. Okay. But you can use that ingot cast to smelt out a single piece of iron into two iron ingots and then you can make that into a into a hammer oh, okay so i will go ahead and use grab the cast put it in the table make sure seth isn't doing something at the same time or is he just watching just watching okay make sure see we don't have okay i need to grab some iron Okay. Make a chunk. Got it. Put the so what you were saying inside. is, if you have multiple metals inside the smeltery, it can actually mix the stuff. Yes. Okay. Now wait for it to fill up. Put it to the bottom so, and then dump it. That's right. So if you're gonna melt more than one kind of metal, always make sure that to check the usage first. Yeah. Oh, so once it's smelted, like once you smelt it into iron, it doesn't inside the machine smelt together. But if you right. put like the the two things in whatever that left field is, then they'll smelt together to create the alloy. Well, if it's already a liquid in there and you put a new liquid in, it will alloy together. Unless they won't mix, which is why even though there's liquid inside and I'm using iron right now, they don't mix, so it's okay. Right. So, iron. Ingot. I'm assuming you eventually get to a point that it doesn't matter if it gets an alloy because you'll eventually need it. Yeah, well, it depends on what you need and when. Because, if, like, if you need iron, but you keep getting invar or something, then it's you're just going to have a bad time. And it's annoying. Yeah. So, if it's turned into a liquid 
and you know it's going to turn into an alloy, can you like put it into a tank for holding for later? Yeah, you can dump it into a tank, or you can turn it into ingots, like Rav just did with the with the iron, for instance. Oh, and then you can always convert iron ingots back to the liquid? Yep, you can always melt ingots back. 